Are you getting display brightness issues on your iPad? Don't worry. In this video, I will show quick solutions to get your iPad display shining bright again. So, let's watch the video till the end. First, check to adjust the iPad brightness setting. Swipe down from the top right corner to open the control center. Tap on brightness control and increase the brightness level to high. Alternatively, launch the settings app on your iPhone, swipe up, and go to the display and brightness section. Then, drag the slider and level up the display brightness of your iPad. If your iPad brightness drops by itself and the screen gets darker, turn off auto brightness. Auto brightness is a feature that allows the iPad to adjust screen brightness based on ambient light, surrounding light. So we need to turn it off. To do so, launch the settings app on your iPad. Tap on the accessibility settings section. After that, tap on display and text size under the vision section. Swipe up to the bottom and turn off toggle next to auto brightness. If the reduce white point is enabled on your iPad, it adjusts screen brightness and color temperature. To turn off this feature, turn off the toggle next to reduce white point. If you have vision issues or want to work in low light, the reduce white point feature helps by lowering the screen brightness on your iPad. You can also drag the slider and adjust its level. You can see the screen brightness has increased on my iPad. Another effective solution is to turn off low power mode if your iPad's battery is low and you're using low power mode, first charge it. After fully charging, turn off low power mode on your iPad. To do so, launch the settings app and tap on the battery settings section. Then, turn off the toggle next to low power mode. That's it. Still want fixed then reset all settings doing this resets all iPhone settings to their default stage. Also, the display brightness settings reset. This reset only resets the settings to default. Your iPad data, such as media, contacts, and your email account will stay safe. Now, let's see the steps. Launch the settings app on your iPad. Tap on the general section. Swipe to the bottom and tap on Transfer or Reset iPad. Then, tap on Reset and select the Reset All Settings option. If prompted, enter the passcode. Finally, choose Reset to confirm. Wait for the reset process to complete. After that, check if the problem is fixed. Also keeps check for software update for software bug fixes. Launch the Settings app on your iPad. Tap on the General Settings section. Then, tap on the software update. Wait for some moment until your iPad checks for updates. If the update is available, tap update now to start downloading. If your iPad is up to date, skip this step. For internet software glitches, force restart the iPad, fix the issue to fix internal software bugs. I recommend the force restart iPad. This method uses volume keys and a side power button on your iPad. Press and quickly release the volume up button, and press and release the volume down button. Then, press and hold the power button at the top until the Apple logo appears. It might take 15 to 20 seconds. Just wait for the Apple logo after the black screen. Your iPhone will fix the software issue from its root cause during this process. Then, enter your iPad lock screen passcode and you are done. That's it. For hardware issue, contact support if the hardware fault is suspected. Contact Apple support or visit an Apple authorized service provider for testing and assessment. You would be best advised to contact Apple support or visit an Apple authorized service provider where the technicians will test and repair your iPad. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Please write which solution was helpful to you in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks.